Nothing better. Sit yeah. in the shade, enjoying a relaxing cigarette, pondering the universe. Exactly. Letting the nicotine inspire your creativity. You know they're trying to take away smokes because they want us to just get into coffee because it, it, it ruins your creativity. Cigarettes yeah. have been around for thousands of years. All the world's best writers smoke. Yeah. yeah. Inventors. Old fucking pipe tobacco. Oh, I missed that. You can't get that anymore. Probably can in uh, Middle East, South America. Also, Native American Indians, they used to use tobacco for their spiritual ceremonies. Exactly, yeah. But they wouldn't do it like 20 times a day, but they didn't have to, have, they didn't have to work. Yeah, and well, their stuff, oh my god. Strong? Yeah. And I had a mate who went over to, uh, fuck, the Nachi, Nacha, Nachacha tribe or something over in, over in Texas somewhere. He brought some of the herbal tobacco back with him. Yeah. Whole. Yeah, let's just uh, say that's on another level. There's some different stuff actually. You know, um, I went to this like spiritual conference in Byron Bay and it had this rough pay ceremony. Yep. It's like this hundred bucks and yet they, they, this South American lady, she like uses this giant tube and like blows it up your nose. Apparently you like have a experience. Uh, elements, have you ever been to that? What's that? Uh, it's a festival they do every year. Oh, uh, no, I haven't gone to any festivals much. Party too much when I was a kid. Yeah, so I kind of got over it in my twenties. But now I'm going to get back into it. Now that you know, got more control of uh... your inner self. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so if you ever go look it up, Elements Festival, it's all nature, man. Really? Like, uh, Is that around here? It's everywhere. Like uh, last year, we done it up in the out past Kilcoy. Oh, it's got Elements Festival. Yeah, it's a hippie festival, pretty much. Uh, yeah. By productive hippies or hippie hippies? Hippie hippies. Alright, well, you know, they had their place in society. Yeah, bit... but, oh, the, the mellowness yeah. from it. It's just tantric. Well, you know what, you need that because they've been very stressed out the past few years with COVID and stuff because mm. um, I work in mental health and I see the effect of the lockdowns and the, and the fear mm. tactics. Yep. And it makes me um, a different, different person since 2019. Like, I'm forever, like, more serious. Yeah, yeah, you become more serious after yeah. shit like that. Yeah, but you know what though? I think a lot of people need to kick up the butt because they just took life for granted, and you know we haven't got any war the past fifty years. So people are like, oh, oh, you know, what's my purpose? Oh, life's boring. It's like, well, the absence of evil is what makes life beautiful. The yeah. absence of the fact you have your freedom, you can do it. You know, that's that's what life's all about. Is that you can, but you can never forget there's still always evil in the world. That's it. Snake in the grass. Exactly, and you never know what form it's going to take. You know what I've found. When I'm most relaxed and most confident, like yesterday I was at this, um, went to this street festival, like a food festival thing in Newmarket. Yep. Oh, and I missed yep. this. It's really nice, but I was just, I've just like uh, cut down on the smoking and drinking. So I've, I was just, uh, my brain feels really clear. I started working out and stuff. And so I've just felt like really cocky. So I was walking around and then I, I lost my phone yep. because I was just feeling too cocky. And like two times I've been hit by cars, my bicycle. It's when I ride down the hill, I was like feeling really cocky. And next minute someone opens the door on me. I think the universe is trying to say, settle the fuck down, mate, because you're too boisterous and, you know, you're going to... Yeah, don't rush it. Yeah, like, yeah. just don't get too too overconfident because you're just like a, a meat body, you know, you're so fragile. Like, all our intestines are right here, it's so easy to kill us. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually funny. Someone once told me human beings are not made to be aggressive. We're not made to be predators. Because you look at predators, claws, fangs, freaking body armor yeah 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 and yeah. then you look at us we're omnivores we have the teeth to eat fruits and all that we're actually not designed to eat meat you don't think we're designed to eat meat yeah we can but our uh original digestive tract no we changed we became om uh, omnivorous but have you heard of the theory that uh, human beings started to evolve when they stopped spending 10 hours a day eating leaves and they, they started to, they found fire, started to cook with meat and then they could eat quickly and get on with the things and think about the theory of life. Yeah. If you're just hunting like eating vegetables all day, you never actually, um, you know, you never, you can't do anything else. Exactly. But are you vegetarian, are you? No, no. Oh, I fucking love my steak. Yeah. But, yeah, no, I have a main who's like vegetarian. Well, I was vegetarian for like 10 years but then I realized it was like a bit of a psyop. I was trying to feel like a uh, activist. Now I wanted to like have a discipline on myself. Yep. Like a religious thing almost. 
it's almost, think about it, like yes. activism and veganism, it's a form of a religious concept. It's like self-sacrifice to yep. try and please the gods. Yep. And I don't agree with veganism. That's going a bit too far. Well, they're having vegan donuts all the time and mock meat right. and yep. soy, uh, with uh, sponsored by Bill Gates yeah. and Beyond, Beyond Meat. Yeah, like, and he's 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 a, he's a eugenics expert. You know, he wants the, the five hundred million people in this world. He's re, he's wrote a book about it. His dad did. Sorry, he literally think. I mean, I kind of see where he's coming from, but it's evil. Yep, it's evil because who says who has the right to say who should live and die? Yeah, no one, no one has. And, he, and he's he's telling us what to do. He's like an overweight programmer who stole his ideas from IBM. Yeah, and his dad gave him all the money. His daddy's a little, you know, he's not like he's self-made. Yeah, he's. Rung off his bed. Yeah. Oh, nice right. to meet you, buddy. All the yeah. best. Nice Pleasure. Take you it easy. Have a great day. Thank you.